I love these segments. It is time now to hit the open road with the crew at Ingalls. Now today we're gonna step into the world of a classic American writer known for his coming of age novel, Look Homeward, Angel. Let's journey north to visit the Thomas Wolfe Memorial State Historic Site in Asheville, North Carolina. I'm Chris Bainbridge, inviting you to take a ride with me. This is an amazing place to find adventure in all shapes and sizes. Ingalls has sent me on a mission to bring you the very best of what our beautiful home has to offer. Food, fun, nature, music, and more. All affordable and all out of the ordinary. This is the Ingalls Open Road. Welcome to what is known by many as the most famous boarding house in American fiction. Today, we're in Asheville, North Carolina, downtown at the Thomas Wolfe Memorial State Historic Site, a building out of the pages of literature and American history. In his seminal work, Look Homeward Angel, Thomas Wolfe set his largely autobiographical story in the fictional town of Altamont, based on his hometown of Asheville. And the story's central structure, the Dixieland Boarding House, was based on this real Queen Anne, known as the Old Kentucky Home. Thomas Wolfe was born in the year 1900 to father William Oliver Wolfe and mother Julia Elizabeth Westall. The youngest of eight children, the baby boy would grow up to become one of the giants of American literature. And he would grow up here in Asheville. He attended the Orange Street School through eighth grade, then private school and eventually on to UNC Chapel Hill and Harvard. He moved to New York to teach at NYU and pursue playwriting. But when his plays didn't sell, he turned to writing his first novel. Look Homeward Angel was published in 1929. It tells the story of Eugene Gant, based on Wolfe himself, from his birth up until he leaves home as a young man. Many in town very much recognized themselves in the pages of Wolfe's novel, and so he stayed away for almost eight years. But he eventually returned home to a warm welcome. The novel was a hit. The stream of consciousness narrative was praised for its emotional power. It would eventually be adapted into a Broadway play, and the play into a musical, and eventually a TV movie. If you're looking for a bit of light reading, this isn't the book for you. It is dark, beautiful, poetic, and heavy, and worth it. Though he died young, Wolf's work and legacy would live on. The Thomas Wolfe Memorial became a National Historic Landmark in 1971, and the home has been welcoming fans of the author since the 1950s. Today, they're ready to welcome you. You can plan your visit at wolfmemorial.com. Your weekend is waiting on the Ingalls Open Road. Thank you so much to Ingalls Markets for sponsoring that segment. Trent might have to make that book an ANC Book Club pick coming up.